Common Ground, The Water, Earth, and Air We Share by Molly Bang. May we make our decisions for the seventh generation. Long ago, a village was built around a commons. The commons was common ground, which belonged to everyone in the village. All the villagers could bring their sheep to the commons to graze. But there was a problem. A villager who owned many sheep used more of the commons than a villager who owned a few sheep, or one, or none at all. And because the common grass was free, people put as many sheep to graze there as they could. Soon, there were too many sheep. There was not enough grass for all of them. This was not good for the commons, or for the sheep, or for the villagers. So people did one of two things. Some people stayed in the village, but they made a plan together. They agreed to keep the commons lush and green and to do a better job of sharing it. Each person could only put one sheep on the commons. Everyone had to follow this rule. Other people chose to move away. There was always some place else to go. Today, the world is much like that village. Now our commons are parks, reserves, and natural resources, and the waters and air of the whole world. Today, we have almost the same problem that villagers had. Today, each fisherman tries to catch as many fish as he can from the common sea. This way, the fisherman has more fish to sell in the short run. But soon, there are fewer and fewer fish. This is not good for the fish, for the sea, or for the people. Today, each lumber company wants to cut down as many trees as it can to sell for wood, paper, and fuel. The more trees the lumber company cuts down, the more money it makes in the short run. But after cutting down so many trees, there are fewer and fewer forests. This is not good for the trees, or for the forest creatures, or the forest soil. We use our common oil, gas, and coal to heat our houses and run our cars. Companies use them to make plastics and other chemicals. In this way, we can stay warm, travel long distances, and visit stores full of amazing things to buy in the short run. But someday, these fossil fuels will be used up. We all need water for drinking, cooking, and washing. Farms need water for crops and livestock. And businesses need water to cool equipment and clean up wastes. So we pump as much of our common water as we can. This works pretty well in the short run. But over time, the well runs dry and the waste pollute the water. There is not enough clean water for all the people, the farms, and the businesses. Fresh water, fossil fuels, forests, fish. One by one, we are destroying the natural resources that sustain our lives. So then here is our common question. If our country, our companies, and each one of us benefit more in the short run from using as many natural resources as we can, then what will stop us from destroying our whole world, our common ground? We need to answer this question together because today we are different from those long ago villagers in one very important way. Now, we don't have any place else to go.